For this video in the What Is series brought to you by IGR and 5th Gen Media, we will be discussing CRAN and DRAN. The RAN, or Radio Access Network, is typically defined as antenna on the tower, the transceiver or radio, and the base band unit, or BBU. This is the equipment at the local cell tower that communicates wirelessly with your smartphone or mobile device. In a typical RAN architecture today, the radios at the top of the tower are connected via fiber to the BBUs in a secure climate-controlled enclosure at the bottom of the tower. The BBUs are then connected via fiber backhaul to the mobile core. In a DRAN, the BBUs are moved to a centralized location, usually a local data center. For this reason, DRAN is sometimes called a centralized RAN. Note that many BBUs can be centralized into one data center. In this scenario, the one-to-one -one ratio of baseband to radios is retained. Evolving to a cloud RAN architecture requires running base station functions as software on commercial servers deployed at the BBU data centers. This means that the wireless base station functions are virtualized. Note that more towers are supported by the same three BBUs. This illustrates how the same number of virtual BBUs could support more towers than in DRAN. IGR's research shows that moving to a CRAN environment reduces costs, increases network flexibility, reduces the effort required to upgrade the network, and enables new services and technologies to be deployed more quickly. As the world moves to 5G, DRAN, and then CRAN will become far more commonplace. In fact, CRAN will be required to build the next generation of 5G networks.